Hi. Today, when we're sailing the boat, we have all kinds of machines and winches and windlasses and other devices that help us sail the boat. 150 years ago, they had a different piece of technology called sea shanties. I left my child to go a sailing. So what is a sea shanty and how does a song help sail a boat? The word sea shanty itself was not actually used until around 1860, which is the era of the big clippers, these big ships that were sailed with small crews to sail fast back and forth between the United States and China, delivering things like cotton and tea. Because these ships were so big, moving so fast, and they had such small crews, the sea shanty was developed in order to help the crew economize and be more efficient with their labor when working on things around the ship, like hauling halyards, pulling sheets, or reefing sail, or even pulling up the anchor. There were three types of shanties sung. These were the long form shanty that was sung for things like raising the halyard. There was the short form shanty that was sung for things like tightening sheets or reefing sail. And then there was what they call the capstan shanty. And this was sung when they were operating the capstan, which was used to weigh or take up the anchor. The most common form of the shanty was a call and response. And the call was led by a person called the shanty man. So Bob, I'm bully in the, alley. the shanty man would make the call and when the sailors responded, that is when they would heave on the lines. A typical example of this is South Australia, which goes something like, in South Australia, I was born. In South Australia, I was born. Is the call. And the response is, heave away, haul away. Heave away, haul away. And this is when the sailors would heave on the line. We're bound to when raising the captain, what was most important was that the sailors would operate the captain to the same rhythm. So the call and response wasn't generally used. I believe that music has a way of reaching us on a deeper, more emotional and spiritual level. The sea shanty is a great example of this. Don't forget your old shipmates. Oh, rally, 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 oh. The sea shanties created a community environment on board a ship that felt like home for the sailors. What makes the sea shanty valuable today is the same thing it was loved for 150 years ago. It brings people together. While we don't need sea shanties to sail our boat today, it's still nice to turn on a sea shanty, sing the song, and watch the connections and camaraderie develop amongst the new crew. Today, when I hear a sea shanty, I can't help but thinking about the camaraderie and the spirit of adventure that the sailors of old must have felt when singing that song and heaving on a line together sailing their ship.